I never go to sleep. I'm out counting rains. I lay in my warm, comfortable bed. I realize in a state of semi-dreaming that I never seem to sleep. I came up. Was it because of the cat staring at me with her dark, repellent, petroleum eyes that seemed to have the ability to peer into my very soul? Or was she, she just staring, seeing something behind me? I was then disturbed by knocking on the window glass. Or was it from my mirror in the corner of my room? So I really forced my body out of my pit, walk zombie-like to the swipe switch. I reached to put it out, on, but another hand is already there. The hand is on the left side, but I'm right-handed. Is someone who escaped from the other side of the mirror in my room with me? It's, it's just, no, it's just my brain perceiving the mirror image of my body the wrong way. I decided it was time to get myself dressed and go to my on my daily walk down the local park. I reach the park. I do my favourite thing of my day. I people watch. I wait. That certain person will get my blood pumping and perspiration running down my body. I follow my intended target like a lion hunting its prey in the African jungles. It's all in amongst the shadows. I follow until they and me are the only ones around. I proceed to put out pounce on them. It surprises them so much, they do not have time to react when they sink my protruding fangs into their necks to drink the nectar of their iron rich blood. But if it isn't sucking their life force dry, I carry the cadaver and place it amongst the underground catacombs, placed deep in the underground crypt, where amongst the many long dead, I meant to be buried hundreds of years ago. For you see, I might, have been, you might be the most successful unknown serial killer in history. The best bit is, I am the only one who knows. I must go back to my bed at dawn. It nearly upon me. There I wait the restless sleep until the midnight hour arrives once more.